Blessed day, my viewers and my subscribers. Before me jumping on the topics, may I begin to hit that like button? It will be greatly appreciated. Now, the topics coming up in this video Reggae singer Sanchez son gets conned up among two other persons. Popular YouTuber Gio Anken respond to scamming rumors. Tanya Stevens exposed Andrew Holness wickedly. Beanie Man and Bounty set to share stage at the Reggae Sun Fest 2022 festival. Shensia gets added to New York Pride Island lineup. So, the first thing we're going to talk about is Sanchez losing his son, people. I remember, you know. I just bought our about a week ago I actually read an article about Sanchez losing his mother and now the man's son get kind of people boy I may tell you say it rough because from what I'm hearing Sanchez really take it hard you see my people so let me get into this article I want to just say a prayer for Sanchez because a back to back morning that you know people you see me so this is what the article I say so now veteran singer Sanchez among three men get conned up in Bedward Gardens. The police have confirmed that one of the three men who get conned up in Bedward Gardens, St. Andrew, in the early hours of Saturday morning is the son of popular entertainer Sanchez, whose given name is Kevin Anthony Jackson. Sanchez's son has been identified as Jackson and Kids Friday. The other persons who passed away has been identified as 24-year-old Rashid Edwards, otherwise called Boopy, a Mason, and 18-year-old Keen Array, otherwise called Brains, both of Bedward Gardens. The passing of the young Jackson comes on the same day that Sanchez is burying his mother, Bridget Gardner Ivy, who passed away earlier this month in Canada at age 74. When news of her passing broke, it was reported that Sanchez, a veteran singer with an extensive gospel catalogue and who was very close to his mother, was too discharged to speak to the media. His mother was a devout Christian. Reports are that about 4.50 a.m., the police responded to a call of Khan being fired in the area where three men were reportedly among a group playing dominoes on their arrival. The men were discovered lying along a dirt track in the vicinity of a football field with what appeared to be Khan wounds. They were assisted to the hospice where all three were pronounced. No one has been held in connection with the Khan up. The major investigation division of the Jamaica Constabulary Force is probing the incident. Ezema people, so Jano Star on the day when the man a bury his mother, the man lose him son. More, more, want to make that sink in our head, good Zin. The man lose him son on the day when him actually a bury his mother. Jano Star. The only thing I can say, Sanchez, my condolences, sir. You understand what I say? And you know, what more of the people them just say a prayer for him. We want to send out some positive energy. We don't know so well for do it because. Yo, a back to back morning that you know, people just imagine how you would have feel you lose your son on the day when you bury your mother. Anyway, people, me just a hope say, you know, the poor poor them get some lead, some information. The people them, if you don't have no farmer information, you don't do the right thing. You understand what I say? I'm not go there and assume nothing. You understand what I say, people? I will not be doing any form of assessment or anything like that. I'm just leave it at that. You see my people? So let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about popular YouTuber Gio from Gio and Ken responding to the scamming rumors. And basically, you don't know, say some people must say I use like fake Instagram page for collect money on their behalf. And basically, obviously, if a fake page, they're not going to come through with a deal or whatever it may be. So um, from what I hear, they were actually arrested. You see me? The person got the police station and reported. And you know, them end up a whole G and Ken. And basically, they are free now. So, him did actually, well, G actually went live and addressed that whole situation. The man has said, Yo, people need to stop them thing there. And him just basically respond to the whole of news and rumors and all them thing there. But I make it be known, say, Yo, them no need for thief money. And me personally can tell you know, these people. You see, G and Ken, I swear for them because I don't know them. But them no need for thief money. Me not ask on that them are right just believe me when me tell you say them are right them don't even need for tea for hundred thousand dollars because at the end of the day to the amount of you know make me different but i say what me i go say my good just get in the video so you can hear what Gia is saying is it people so listen this that come on bro Jian can and even thief nobody money dark. We need to stop the capping brother. You see me, we need to stop. You see me? If no one want to it, brother. Stop come talk. Fuck with that, you see me. Jian can and need no money. 
just sweet kiss. Is it me? Just sweet, but the people wake me out of my bed. I say, yo, I need to adjust this, but dad. I need to stop the lie, bro. I don't mean, need nobody money. I can't need nobody money, bro. All of them pages on all text are some fake page. You see me? I don't need hundred dollars US, bro. I give me, give me them money. You see me? Give me, give me. You see me? So I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna stop, bro. I'm just forward. You see, I'm forward, car, man. We just take a break to fix yourself, brother. You see me? So. I'm gonna stop, brother. I'm gonna stop calling him because it's not look good for you, brother. And all of them fake pages, I'm gonna stop taking people and things. Make it look like a wee. You see me? Yeah, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need to take a $50 US. I'm gonna need to take a $100 US. I'm gonna need to take a $5 bill. I'm gonna need to take no money from me. You see me? I'm gonna stop, bro. I'm gonna just stop. They start to come to play, you see me? So far back on YouTube. Stop. $100 US, yeah. $100 US, yeah. I don't need to take the money that I'm gonna stop using him for some fuck, bro. You see me? Me ever sleep, bro. I don't worry about that. We're good. You see me? Stop using the name, that comfort telling you, bro. Stop using the name. Yeah, man. So at least him come out and clear the ear. And his girlfriend, um, she did actually come out and make a post pan our IG status. You understand? I tell people, say, yo, you know, people for stop use them name and I do this and that. And make you understand. You see me? Those fan pages, them, holy per time, them collect money and act like them are the persons and stuff like that. And people only need to read. Sometimes when you see page mark, fan page, and when you do over the same way, I send message like when you think of the actual people, them, they behind the page. They might feed them personal page. And before you even send money to none of them people here, Make sure you talk to them personally, like a phone conversation or something. No send no money. If it's not verified like even Shensia or Spice, then that is what you have to do. You understand? If them and them want the money, they will call you or whatever it may be. Is it? But I'm glad him come out and clear the ear as I say. Is it? Anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about Tanya Stevens exposing the Prime Minister Andrew Holness. You understand, people? And basically, a post was made over by Andrew Holness, which is what Tanya Stevens reposted. And I'm going to show you the post. That's the post that you're seeing on the screen, Zane. And Andrew Holness made a caption saying, Yesterday, I attended a virtual meet meeting with United States Vice President Kamala Harris and fellow Caribbean leaders as we continue to focus on our economic recovery in the aftermath and indeed the ongoing CV-19 pandemic. So as Mr. Tanya Stevens reposted that and in the caption, she said, I voted for this man twice. My shame is infinite. Mask up for a virtual meeting. Jesus take the wheel. So obviously you can't see Andrew Wellness have on the mask same way and stuff like that. But really and truly we don't know if other people they are around him and that is the reason why he's have on the mask. What if he does give him the benefit of the doubt? So you know, Tanya Stevens says she she <laughs> Yo, that woman ain't easy enough you know, people. Where do you think? You know, feel like say the Prime Minister exaggerate by wearing a mask to a virtual meeting. It's not like you can catch the C V nineteen through the screen. I don't feel like say, somebody did around him, you see me? Maybe he should actually take it off if nobody did around him because it definitely look ridiculous for him one in the photo. If people there beside him, then would I understand. But maybe people is there, but them just not in the picture, you see me? But let me know what you guys think about what Tanya Stevens is saying. She is shame for no say, oh, she vote for Miss Amanda twice and him basically I exaggerate as it relate to wearing the mask and them thing. There's my people, so let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about Shensia being added to New York Pride Island lineup. There's my people and 
Boy, oh boy, I know if you have a hype, I'm going to come back and burn a fire upon Shensia. But anyway, people, it says Shensia added to New York Pride lineup, Pride Island lineup. Jamaican singer Shensia has been added to the Pride Island lineup, being spearheaded by New York City Pride for June the 25th. The event is being hosted at Governor's Island, New York City, and will also feature trans headliner and German pop singer Kim Petras. According to the LGBTQ organization, this will be the first fully in-person Pride Island stage in three years with our first ever trans headliner and our move to Governor's Island. This will truly be a historic weekend in the history of Pride. Lauren Cheeseboro, Pride Island event manager, said in a release, the expansion of Pride Island to a three-day event creates new experiences for the community to love and live their truth by dancing freely without fear of consequences. It was just last November that Spice was confirmed to headline Pride Toronto, which is also set to take place in June this year. The Queen of Dancehall had faced harsh criticism from the likes of popular dancehall selector Futa Hype and reggae artist Sizzler, who denounced her participation in the LGBTQ festival. Pride Island event will kick off on Friday, June the 24th with Drag Island featuring Mo Hart and Kylie Sonic Love, who are former contestants on RuPaul Drag Race and RuPaul Drag Race All-Star. Kim Petras will close out the event on Sunday, June the 26th with DJ Eddie Martinez, DJ Danny Torrey and DJ Alex Chapman. And Saturday the 25th, Shensia will join that day's headliner, American rapper Little Kim, along with Netta, Ray and Papi Juice. The Blessed Singer will perform at 2 p.m. You see it, people. So that is what's going on. You don't know say Shensia do her thing. And I'm pretty sure say yo, even if Futa come out and burn her out, she'll probably just ignore it. You understand what I say, people? At the end of the day, these females don't really care about that. Them open minded. I remember say Shensia, the same one who admits say she do it in other parts. So I'm pretty sure this will be just a cakewalk for her. <laughs> Anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about Bounty Killer and Beanie Man, who is scheduled to perform at Reggae Sunfest together. You see my people, kind of like versus event. So you know, so all the people are going to tune into this. So anyway, it's a Bounty Killer and Beanie Man set to share stage at Sunfest 2022. The return of Reggae Sunfest is set for July the 23rd at the Catching All venue in Montego Bay, St. James. And some of Jamaica's biggest superstars have already booked for the show, including Spice, Shensia, Skeng, Alkaline, Intense, Dexter Dapp, and many more. Two of the main highlights, however, will be the five-star general bounty killer and the Dr. Beanie Man, who is set to do what seems to be a collaborative performance as a tribute to Dave Kelly, the infamous producer and man behind the operation of Maddow's Records created in 1992. Kelly is well known for the production of timeless dancehall beats such as Pepper Seed Rhythm, Arab Attack Rhythm, Joyride Rhythm, and many others that have featured many giants in the industry such as Sham, Frisco Kids, Spraga Benz, Bujibantan, and other great artists. As for Bounty Killer and Beanie Man, Dave Kelly has produced some of their biggest hits including Killer's Worthless Boy and Doctor's Girls Them Sugar and Old Dog, which are two monster tracks that have big impacts on dancehall music. The two entertainers are also known for their bitter rivalry which started in the 90s with a clash at the Sting 1993 after after which the two had several other on-stage encounters but eventually turned the feud friendly in the late 2000s, adding their song for song clash as a part of their combined package which was done on an international stage for the Versus show. The Madhouse tribute will also showcase entertainers such as Praga Benz, Frisco Kid and Mr. Easy as a package as well as Sham and Wayne Wanda. You see it people, so all of the people, them, the Bounty and Beanie fans, make sure no roll out our sun face, support the artist them because I know that this will be be something we don't want to miss. Yes, my people. So let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn the bell on. Bless upon yourself until I drop the next video. I'm out.